In this video presentation, we're going to look at how we go about telnetting into a 2500 series router. And in this particular instance, we're going to be looking at three different scenarios. Scenario one, when a password is not set for telnetting. Scenario number two, when a password is set for telnetting. And scenario number three, what happens when I tell it not to prompt me for a password? All right, let's get started by trying the telnet into this particular router. Says password required, but none set. It's going to time out. I'm going to type in a CLS, clear the screen. Now let's go into my router, and what we're going to do is we're going to set the password for my telnetting into this particular router. So I have to have a line command, and in this particular instance, I'm going to want to telnet into the five lines for telnetting into this 2500 series router. So it's VTY zero space four. Now the 0 through 4 indicates that I do have the capability of having five concurrent telnet sessions into this particular router. Hit enter. Now I'm going to tell it that I want to be prompted at login for a password. And now I'm going to enable the password. And there you go. All right, the password is now set for my telnetting into this particular router. Let's go back up and try it one more time. Now it wants the password. So the bottom line is, if you don't have a password set for telnetting into your router, you'll get access denied. Bottom line. Now how do I tell it not to prompt me for a password? Well, that's something else. So let's take a look at that. Now I'm still at the line for my telnetting into this router, but I'm going to type in no login. What I'm saying here is I don't want to be prompted for a password. No password has to be set, and I will not be prompted for one. Let's go ahead and try to do this now. Let me go ahead and hit enter here and set that. Come back up to my command prompt. Let me go ahead and exit out of there. Connection is lost. Now I'll do a CLS, clear the screen so we don't get confused. Uh, I'm going to try to telnet 192.168.0.5. And I'm in. You'll notice there was no prompt for the password. Password you see me being prompted for is to have access to the privilege executive mode on the router. That's just my secret enable password. All right. So we saw three different scenarios. Telnetting without a password. We saw the result. Then we went in. We enabled the password for telnetting on all five of my telnet sessions. Then we saw what happens when I told it not to prompt me for a password. 